What's up YouTube, Quan here, back at you with another video. So you guys have asked, so you shall receive. I'm bringing back the workouts and today I'm bringing back a tonal workout. So you guys ask me all the time, can you train legs on tonal? And the answer is yes. So if you wanna build bigger, more shredded, more defined, more toned legs, I recommend you try these eight cable exercises. If you don't have a tonal home gym, you can do these in, a, in your local gym. And if you do have a tonal, you can do them in the comfort of your own home, all right? So before we get started, if you find this video useful in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Consider turning on post notifications. Folks, I'm trying to make YouTube my full-time gig. You know, I've tried to work with brands and companies. I would rather just do YouTube directly and work with you guys, provide these videos for free. So in order to do that, I need you guys to like these, share these, you know, engage with them. That way they can get to more people. Try to watch the video as long as you can. That way we can really grow, all right? And if you like these workouts, but you need a little bit more from me and you wanna work with me directly, consider clicking down below to get you some online coaching. Here's a preview of what my app looks like. It's pretty cool, get the nutrition, all that good stuff, but enough of all that. Let's get to this workout. So remember, we're doing our top eight cable exercises to build your legs, all right? So we're gonna get through these exercises. You can do these all as one workout. If you wanna do that, I recommend you going three, no more than three sets, keeping that rep range between 10 to 12 reps. You can play with it more depending on your goal, but that's where I would start if you want to do this whole thing as a workout. But remember, these are my top eight movements. So let's get to it and let's have some fun. Let's get it and let's build these legs. Let's go. Okay, exercise number one, one of my favorite exercises I like to do on tonal is the goblet squat. So I actually grab the handle here, I click the weight on, we hold it very close to our body, real close, nice and tight, and we're gonna squat down super low, get low and explode up. Holding it close to your body, all right? Keep those elbows underneath nice and stacked, hips back, dip that butt down, allow that cable to kind of give you that little counterbalance and weight. Flexion your midsection and exploding up. We do about, you know, 10 reps or so, eight to 10 reps, actually 10 to 12 reps, let me say it right. But that's kind of what it looks like from the side. And from the front, get that nice, again, 45 degree angle with those feet, squat down and explode up. Let's rep these out, finish this set real quick. Remember folks, with legs, you gotta challenge yourself. They're not gonna grow on their own. Just like so, okay? When you're done, we click that side handle, we put it down. So moving on to exercise number two, we've got a Bulgarian split squat up next. All right, up next, we've got one of the age old favorites, the Bulgarian split squat, all right? So we're gonna grab two handles, hold them to our side, gonna reach back with one foot, put it on the you know, your issued bench. I like to have my foot flat on top. We're gonna turn the weight on. We're gonna drop down, getting that back knee as close to the ground as possible, keeping your chest up and straight, and explode and stand up, okay? Dropping down, explode and stand up. Really making those legs work. Pushing through. Easy work here, folks. Remember to keep those shoulders in place. Don't allow yourself to lean forward too much. Keep it up and straight, pressing through the middle two thirds of your foot, dropping down and exploding up. So another one of my favorite exercises, this kind of reminds me of a kettlebell front squat, but it's a rack squat to bench. So we're gonna use the bench as kind of an anchor point where we squat down. So we're gonna grab the handles. We're gonna rack them to that front rack position. We're gonna turn the weight on, elbows up just like this. Well, not up, but more like a 45 degree angle. Squat down, sit, and explode up. The wire's gonna feel a little tight on your arms, but you're gonna squat down right to hit that bench, and then explode up. Don't bounce, just tap lightly and explode up. Again, keep that core very tight, stay nice and controlled, and get low. Breathe through it, folks. I'm showing you from the side so you can see how straight my upper body is as I squat. And sometimes I like to get a little bit of a pelvic tilt to the front as I stand up to get a little bit of activation, a little bit of extra activation. So now we're gonna move on to some of the barbell movements. Those are my favorite three cable-based movements. Now we're gonna do the tonal cable barbell movements. Let's move on. All right, folks, up next we've got the barbell deadlift. The tonal normally wants you to face the screen when you do this, but I'm gonna face out so you guys can see me and kind of understand what's going on. So let's turn this weight on. I'm gonna go light, put it like 94 pounds or so. So you're gonna get your feet underneath the bar, about shoulder width apart. Stack your body, pull your shoulder blades back, and explode up. So what I love about cable-based deadlifts like this is it really helps with stability. With those two anchor points on the side, it's very, very hard 
to stay um, balanced. So it's gonna help either balance your core strength, hamstrings, a little bit of glute work, and your lower back as well. Remember, you're gonna hinge at the hips first, push those hips back, keeping the bar as close to your legs as possible, and explode up, okay? Doing about 10 reps here. Again, you can do this all as one workout, or I would have you change the order of exercise if you did that. Or just program these into your next couple of workouts. 10 reps here, then we're gonna move on. Remember folks, I'm a taller lifter, so like I said, I'm about six foot three, six foot four. So things might look a little different when I do them. Always remember to use the demo option on your tonal home gym. That way you can see the exercises before you do them, okay? I got a question recently, which I'll do a whole video on this if you guys want me to, about how to progress on tonal. Remember to do things like supersets and circuits. Use the option on here where you can create your own workout. Make sure you log everything, track it, and incrementally increase over time. Even if you hit the max of the weights, you're still gonna be able to see your body perform in ways you didn't think possible, but you just have to track your results and slowly increase things over time, okay? So that's halfway through. Now we're going to a lying gl glute bridge. It's gonna be fun, let's take it down to the ground. So set, make sure your feet are flat on the ground and your femurs are straight, okay? You're gonna thrust up and bring it down nice and controlled, pushing your pelvis to the sky, pushing through your heels and exploding up. So the range of motion here isn't gonna be the most amazing. This is where I feel like you can go heavy with the weight, doing sets of eight to 10 here, real heavy, focusing on the squeeze. Squeeze those glutes to the top, pushing that pelvis to the sky. Give me about 10 reps here, and I'll show you the other variation of this, of a glute bridge, which is exercise number five coming up, which will give you a little bit more range of motion so you can really develop those glutes. But do this to, you know, get more weight up, okay? Now we're gonna move on to a barbell hip thrust. So, when we do this, very similar to what we just did, except now we're going to use the bench. So I say put your upper back on the bench. All right, get that upper back up there. Still get those feet underneath you. Now we're gonna drop down and thrust up. Now we have a little bit more range of motion. Exploding up, squeezing those glutes. Really give yourself a pause at the top, especially if you've maxed out your tonal and you've already done the max weight. That's my dog, Blue. And come up to the top and give, my, give you like a nice pause, just like that, okay? Coming down and up, breathing through it. Really get that butt all the way down, driving through so you can feel it in your glutes. I'm telling you, I feel the mind right now. 10 reps, oh, squeeze, and let it down slow. Whew. All right, we got two exercises to go, but that's, that's how you get started, all right? Remember, with the hip thrust, Range of motion is going to be key. Even with that glue bridge, focus on going heavy on the bridges. And then with the hip thrust, you can lighten the weight a little bit and just focus on that range of motion, okay? Let's move on. All right, folks, one of my favorite exercises with the dump, with the barbell, again, is a barbell single leg RDL, okay? So we're gonna lower this weight a bit so I can show you how we do this. We're gonna pick up the barbell. We're gonna face the tunnel on this one because I can't show you any other way. You're gonna get your foot nice and planted underneath you and you're going to come down, keeping that bar close to your leg and coming forward, okay? Coming down and coming forward. You're gonna feel it very direct in your hamstrings here, getting real low, controlling the weight and resetting. I don't have a lot of space over here so I can't fully extend my leg, but I would like for your leg to be fully extended like so, only because it makes it easier to counterbalance the weight. You're gonna really feel this in your hamstring and if you kind of stumble like I just did, reset your feet, take your time, and go back into it. Never rush a movement, folks. Reset, come all the way down. Two more reps here. Last one. Bang, got the barbell front squat. Again, normally you're gonna face your tonal when you do this movement, but now we're gonna go here. We're gonna rack it on the front of your shoulders. I'm gonna take it super light so you guys can see a bit. Rack it on your shoulders, up high near your clavicle, feet shoulder width apart, head up, chest up, and we're gonna squat down. The key here is to keep that upper body straight. Now, a front squat is more of a quad dominant exercise, but go wide with your stance a bit, press into the back two thirds of your foot, middle, well, press through your entire foot, but I like to have my toes pick up a little bit, coming all the way down, all the way up, 
and squeeze those glutes as well. Again, I love these, I love front squats because they hit your core as well in a way that I don't necessarily feel with back squat. I'm not a big fan of back squatting on tonal. That's why it's not on the list. You can do it, but I'd recommend you front squat. You have a little bit more control and it's a little safer. When you're done, turn off the weight and bring it down. All right, folks. So that concludes my favorite exercises. <clears throat> All right, folks, so that concludes my favorite exercises on tonal. Try those out if you want to build some powerful legs. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Don't forget to click down below to get you some online coaching. Please consider subscribing. We're really going to keep growing, man. I'm going to give you guys entertaining content. Comment down below what body part you want to see me train next. I hope this helped. I hope this was good for you. I appreciate you guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.